Hey everybody, it's Jay from Three Rivers Outdoors. And today, we're gonna show you how to make a no-cost planter box for your patio or uh, your deck or uh, just for planting in general. So what you can see is we went to the local beer distributor and uh, they give us all the pallets that we can take for free. Um, so we're gonna show you how to make something to plant your, um, your stuff in on your patio if you don't have a big garden or even if you do and you just want to keep some things nearby and it's going to look something like this so first things first um taking apart pallets is a real pain and uh if you go and and take a you know like a lever like a crowbar or a claw hammer you try to pull each of these up you're going to crack these edges um this pine wood's really thin. Um, you know, it's a little, probably a little more than a half inch or less than a half inch, I apologize, probably three eighths. But we're gonna show you the quick and easy and dirty way to get these things apart very fast so that you can make one of these boxes in the quickest time possible. Okay, so I cut one side. I'm gonna show you how to cut the other. Make sure you get your um, safety glasses and I can't find my good ones, so I'm going to use these biggest, nerdiest ones I can find. Okay, so effectively, we cut both sides. As you can see, um, these boards are uh, uh, loose now, and they're very easy to come off. So we're gonna show you how to pop these off real easy and quick. Hang on one second, let me grab my tool. So you need a claw hammer and a good lever. I like the um, S-wing hammers and levers. Um, And you just give it a gentle kind of a tap, maybe on both sides. So not too much pressure. And you'll see you get a nice board with no cracks on either end. That's key. I kind of want to get under those boards as best as you can. And if you break off a nail, pull it out, set it aside. Because if you're smart and you save all the nails, you won't even need to buy any. So we're going to take the rest of this uh, pallet apart and um, show you what we do with the edges too. Okay, so um, I'm only going to show one side of this because it's kind of boring and uh, I don't wanna waste anybody's time. The goal is just to get nice straight boards with no, uh, no damaged ends where you're gonna be nailing. That's very key. One thing that you are gonna have to contend with, and I'm gonna grab my tool again, is this. When, when you make these boxes the way I make them, um, you actually need the part of the pallet that separates the top and the bottom um, and it looks oftentimes like this or some version of this so one of the things you have to contend with is taking these off and these are easy you don't have to worry about much in fact they crack usually right there um, little pieces of wood I actually throw them in a kindling box and then I pop the nails out so these actually come out real easy as you can see the reason I'm working on the edge of the trailer is because it's uh, a lot easier on your back to do this than it is if you're bent down. Whoop, and I dropped the nail, which we don't want in the tires. 
So you can see most of the nails are relatively good. Uh, you can keep them. Uh, we're using them right in the boxes because these things are gonna rot in a couple years and uh, you know, maybe they get weak and we throw them out or uh, use them as firewood. So um, keep these nails and you can use them to put them back together. We'll show you that in a second. So we started off with a nice day here in Western Pennsylvania, making our planter boxes. And now we have a hailstorm. So our bottom boards, which he took off a different pallet, which as you can see here, a little thicker, um, these uh, we're gonna use for the bottom. These are 35 inches long. So we're gonna cut our side boards to also be uh, 35 inches long. So hang out. So now in order to make sure that your sides are going to work at the right height. What you need to do, you need to measure them. So these are going to be at uh, 10 and 3 quarters inches. And these are going to be at 10 and 3 quarters inches. So our sides are the right height. When working with these pallets, you have to remember not every board is exact. So lay them out first before you uh, start nailing. So now if you remember, um, we took the supports out of the inside of the pallet and we're going to cut these at 10 and 3 quarters inches too as these are going to support um, the side walls of the, um, of the, uh, the sides of our planter. We're actually going to cut two of these, um, one on each end, and we're going to do this twice so we'll have a total of four. So now we have four pieces from the pallet support. Each are 10 and 3 quarters inches. That should correspond with the height of our sides. And they do. Okay, so now that um, we've cut all the boards to 35 inches and we've got our um, pallet support cut, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to lay these three boards right out on our pallet support that's going to form the corner of our planter box. Just like that. And then what I did was I cut just a little piece of pallet wood the same the same thickness. Okay and we're going to use that as a jig just so that um, our boards overhang on the edge because we want a nice square edge. And when we put the sides, the, the shorter sides on, we want to make sure that that um, wood doesn't, uh, doesn't show or stick out. So now that I've got that, um, now that I've got that jig kind of measured, literally reusing the old nails that came out. Again, this is our no cost planter box. I like to start one nail each. Just to make sure that they're going to hold. Right there on the edge. And this board, which was a little damaged, which will be just fine. Nails a little bent, one end just fine. So this is what it's gonna look like. <clears throat> You're gonna have a little overhang. That little bit of overhang is just enough for your um, wood to sit on there. Repeat on the other side. 
and show you what the finished um, both sides look like. Sorry about the sound of the rain, but so now we have two sides, both of which have a little lip overhang on either. I'm going to show you what we do next. Is we've cut six pieces, 12 inches long. These are going to serve as our sides. Okay hey guys, so there you have it. Uh, for right now, <clears throat> this is what we're looking at. We've got an empty box, 35 inches long, 10 and 3 quarters inches high. It's made with three pieces of pallet wood. Um, this is a little less than one whole pallet. So for each pallet you can you can make um, <clears throat> at least one box. Now we're gonna show you what putting the bottom on looks like. Now what we're going to do here at the bottom is we're going to fit three different sizes um, because they fit exactly correct. The only thing we need to do now is we need to cut these ends off so they're all equal. Now what we're going to do is take our three pieces of wood that we cut 35 inches. See this one's a little damaged so we're actually going to kind of put this one on the outside so that uh, actually we're going to put that one on the inside. And that way you do have a little bit of drainage just in case there are some imperfections. Let's see where. Some room to nail to there. one or two in the middle on these edges just to hold it because there will be some weight in there when there's uh, soil in your box. There you have it, a planter box. If you want, what you can do is you can drill a couple of holes here and here, put a nice length of rope with a knot on the inside so you can grab it on both sides. The reason we made them this big is because uh, one person can easily lift them and make them smaller or larger if you'd like. Uh, but uh, 35, 36 inches, depending on the size of your um, palette that you find is about what uh, we found is best. So hope you found this video informative. Uh, it's something to do that doesn't cost you any money at all if you do it right. And um, if your local beer distributor is friendly, you can get as many palettes as you'd like for free. So as always guys, thanks for tuning in to Three Rivers Outdoors. Uh, I'm glad to show you something else today. Uh, and uh, hopefully we'll have about a dozen more of these done before uh, the coronavirus is over. So thanks again for watching.